Here's another book I've got, Zoo Days, by Harry Golding. And I have to admit, this book is not in particularly good condition. So, I have looked through it and it doesn't look as though any of the pages are actually missing that have got stories on. But, if we look at the, at the very beginning, as you can see it jumps straight to coloured plates. There's no um, sort of publication page or... Uh, yeah, the sort of the, you know the usual beginning pages are gone, but we do have chapter one. So I don't know if there was a preface in this book or anything, but um, if there was, it's gone. But that won't affect our reading of the story because I have checked, and it looks as if all the story is in there. Um, it's an interesting book. I've had a little look through it in advance of doing this, and it was originally written, I've also looked up some of this information, it was originally written, and well originally published should I say, in 1919 and this seems to be a reprint from uh, I think 1945 or later based on what it says at the beginning, so the original story dates from World War I times, well, po just post World War I and you'll notice when we're reading this story that there's quite a few references that relate to what happened in World War One. I. I mean it is mostly a story about a zoo but when it opens you, you can see that they're reflecting on on things that happened in World War One and the effects it had on on family life really so it's quite interesting from that point of view and then interestingly the the reprint that I've got of it dates to just after World War Two so Again, the, the same sort of issues would have been affecting people at that time. It's also illustrated by Margaret Winfred Tarrant, uh, sorry, Margaret Winfred Tarrant, who is quite a famous children's story illustrator. Um, she illustrated The Water Babies and Alice in Wonderland. And you can see that same sort of style, uh, if I find a picture, in the pictures that we've got here. They're really quite nice drawings and a lot of them are in colour as well. So. But yeah, um, interestingly the, the passage at the beginning coloured, refers to the coloured plates and it says With Miss Tarrant's sanction and help, the publishers have succeeded in reproducing in this volume coloured replicas of her delightful illustrations, the originals of which were destroyed during the German air raids on London in 1940. So that does definitely date this copy to post World War Two. But it does make it interesting to see that, that that story was still relevant sort of 20 years later to to the population and I suspect that the reprint of it around that time was probably because it was a story that that was you know people had just gone through yet again. We'll start doing these chapter by chapter I think. Um, they're quite quite lengthy chapters. They are, yeah. So I don't know how long the videos will be but um, should be interesting. Should be interesting. So hopefully you'll enjoy that when I get round to it and see you next time. Bye!